Man from Montgomery was in Union County Court this morning to be sentenced for elder abuse, but that's not what happened. The judge rejected her plea agreement, saying it was not a sufficient punishment. Newswatch 16's Nikki Cries live for us tonight from the Union County Courthouse. Nikki. Scott and Lisa, 19 year old Madison Cox faced nearly two years in jail for elder abuse. But today the judge said that punishment, that plea agreement was not sufficient. Now the case could go in front of a jury. A large group of people stood outside the Union County Courthouse in Lewisburg. Some wearing t-shirts and others holding signs. They were here to support victims of elder abuse. This is a situation that this is going to affect all of us in some way at some point in our lives, whether it's personally, whether you have a family member, a neighbor, a cousin, a friend. Many of these people have loved ones who were victims of abuse at Heritage Springs Memory Care near Lewisburg. 19-year-old Madison Cox and a juvenile admitted to taking disturbing pictures and videos of at least 12 patients while they worked at Heritage Springs Memory Care, which is a senior living facility for people with Alzheimer's and other types of dementia. Officials say some of the photos showed patients partially clothed or nude. As part of her plea agreement, Cox faced nearly two years in jail with the possibility of spending that time on house arrest. Judge Michael Pietsu rejected her plea agreement, saying it was not sufficient punishment. Members of Madison Cox's family spoke at the hearing. One family member told the judge, I understand she made a mistake, but she was in high school. She is a good person. Lynn Fiedler's mother was one of the victims. Fiedler also spoke at the hearing. This has been a very long, painful process, and I am here to be the voice of the voiceless the residents who were abused, including my mother. Fiedler told the judge she feels guilt, rage, and deep sadness. As long as I am breathing, I will fight for change and help to protect this very, very vulnerable population of people who are very unprotected at this point. The case against Madison Cox is now back on the pretrial list, which means it could go to trial or it could go for another, it could be arranged for another plea agreement. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, live in New